Welcome back to X-Life, guys. Uh, we are, whoa, we are making some moves today. Got a, a few fun little things to show you. Yeah, let's do it. If you're excited, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. We got the stone mob farm working in the last episode. It is now completely gone again. We have so much beef and leather at this point. It's insane. Now, everyone was telling me, go to Joel's shop, go to Joel's shop. Guys, you have to remember, the way we filmed these, I recorded my last episode on like Thursday, okay? And it came out on Saturday. Joel's shop didn't exist at that time. Everyone was spamming me, telling me to have gone to, why didn't I go to Joel's shop in the episode? Because it's impossible. Because they weren't even done at the same time. Think about it. <laughs> but I am going to be going there today. I'm pretty sure someone's already going to have taken his first customer reward, which I was quite excited for, I'll be honest. There is a bunch of skeletons hiding under my house, which is very annoying. So I'd like to do something about that today as well. Oh, he's got an enchanted bow, actually. I'm a bit scared. But we do need a bunch of leather and a bunch of paper because I heard that Joel has a great tradesman there. So I'm actually going to make a whole ton of paper right now. Right, I can just hear them underneath my house. So I'm going to have to go and try and deal with them. Right, let's go. Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I cannot believe what's just happened. I can't even express to you right now how angry I am. How has that happened? That creeper wasn't even there. It just exp- Oh, man. I'm going to have to go make another lasso quickly and put my hero villager in it. Oh, no. He blew holes upstairs as well. This is the worst start ever. I'm going to put some redstone torches down here for now to mildly light up the area because I'm now living in complete fear. Oh, they broke a stripped oak log, man. I don't think I have any of those left. I used them all. No, I didn't. I lied. I have them right here. What a stressful start, honestly. All I wanted to do, just, just go to Joel's shop. That was it. So to have a nice time in Joel's shop. We get some good XP from that, you know, from doing this thing. It's pretty good. I kind of like it. Right, let's head over with our... Wait, where's our books? They, they must be in here somewhere, right? 64 books, right. Let's head over to see Joel's place. Go see Joel's shop. I haven't seen it in person yet. Ah, oh, I'm so stressed out. What a mental start, honestly. This does hopefully mean that I will be able to get enough... I will be able to get enough emeralds to actually start trading with all the wandering traders who come by. So that's pretty sick. I'm excited for that. I'm so scared of this server. It's unbelievable. Joey's house looking hella sick now, by the way. That's unreal. Joey's Wonderland. It certainly is. I rate that. What a lovely neighbor to have. So allow me to show you some things while we are at the spawn. Uh, we have Joel, uh, Scott's magic carpet blind auction going on here, which I won't be doing because I want to try and get my own magic carpet. And then just here, we have a store that I believe Fwip made. Fwip slime and mob farm shop. I like the ramp up. So 16 slime, one diamond, one mob farm, four diamonds. So he's selling 16 slimes and uh, you can buy mob farms from him, which is actually really cool. This is a very cool shop. I'll probably use this one. I don't like to use the shops much because I like to try and get the stuff myself, but this is a useful one. Uh, here's the two heart clubhouse. Yucky, yucky. We don't want to end up in there. Let's stay on our one heart clubhouse for now. Thank you. And here's the one heart clubhouse. And if you're wondering what it looks like inside, well, I have a little clip that I filmed with Lizzie that I'm going to put in right here for you to check out. So let me take you to see the one heart club. If you'd like yes, to follow me, please. I would love to. Oh, so it's the one heart club building. Okay, this is cool. Oh, I like yeah. the one window. It has a red theme because of the color of our one heart. Oh, nice. There's a twist to this clubhouse. Okay. Only members know how to open the door. So ah. pretend you're not a member for a second and try to enter the clubhouse legitimately. Okay, great. <clears throat> Hold on. I'll do my uh, I'll do my best impression of someone who's definitely not on one heart. All right. Here's the one heart clubhouse. Let me go in. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. If you can figure out how to get in. Um. Well, it's you. So it'll be something tricky, like something hidden or... Oh, oh, my goodness, I've taken your bush. I'm so sorry. Is there any secret portraits? <laughs> no, nothing. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. So if you come over to here, you'll notice that there's a rose bush missing. And okay. If you right click, there is a lever. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's so sneaky. And then when you get inside, oh. you have to close it behind you to keep out all the riffraff. Of course, of course. Clubhouse. Oh, my goodness. I like, wow, you really stuck to the theme, too. With a triple bunk bed. Ah, yes. Let's hope that we do at one point get all three of us on before. Oh, that would be so cool. We could all use the triple bunk bed. If, if nothing else, let's at least get Ollie on at some point so we can all sleep in the bed. <laughs> There's also a chest here for your stuff. So feel free ah. to leave anything here. But when you leave the club, you will have to empty your locker. That makes, yeah, that makes complete sense. Um, 
I'm not planning to leave the club. Me either, but, you know, fate has a funny way of kicking us out of the one heart club and entering us into the ugly two heart club. Yes, and I want no part of that, but if it does happen, I will gladly clean out my locker. That is very, uh... <laughs> Very reasonable. I like it. So as you can see, one of the only two proud members of the One Heart Club, technically three if you include uh, if you include Ollie, but you know we don't know if we do yet. We'll have to see. And over here is Joel's shop where we can buy a bunch of, uh, I think it's leather or rotten flesh. I am going to go up and see if there is a first customer reward still there because I believe it was a backpack. Someone was saying in my comments. So uh, let's go see because if it is, I will use it. But if not, nope, it's gone. Disappointed. Right, I'm I'm actually quite scared of ladders, to be honest. Did I not bring my infinite water supply? I did. All right. It's just like a safety precaution. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh my goodness me. That was terrifying. Oh. Okay, and then here is the guy. Emerald Jeremy's book trades. So if I talk to this dude, I can literally trade him four books for an emerald. I'm going to keep doing this because we're actually going to level him up, I think. I'm not sure if he can even level up anymore. But hopefully we're going to actually get him leveled up here. I think we are. One more. And if you leave him for a second, he might level up and give us a new cool trade. An even cooler trade than what he had before. Five emeralds for a clock, five emeralds for a compass. All right, well, not that useful, actually. Ah, hello, sir. Podzol. No, I don't need any of this. See, he won't trade me anymore. He's had enough. Oh, but he'll also take, he'll trade paper for an emerald as well. So I could just go get a bunch more paper. I've now got 12 emeralds, which is a pretty good hustle, honestly. I like that. Uh, it is time to get dark, though, so if we could get home... ASAP. That would be great. Uh, okay, I might actually have to take refuge in the One Heart Clubhouse for the night. Ah, my first night sleeping over in the clubhouse. Feels nice. Uh, I'll take the bottom bunk, thank you. What a time to be alive. Okay, time to head out. Hopefully nothing crazy spawned on the way home. But it appears there is some communal sugarcane here, so it would be kind of rude not to take the communal sugarcane. Ah, I love when it rains sugarcane. Very rare weather type on this game. Sugarcane rain. Disclaimer, that is not a real type of rain on this game. I'm so sorry. Does this give us purple dye? Flowering rush. I guess it's pink dye. Okay. Because we need to be able to make some of the warp scrolls. The warp scrolls are super useful. Uh, they let you warp for free. We definitely need some of those. And to do that, we only really need um, purple dye and paper. And obviously, everyone has a million paper because of the apotheosis mod. Actually, you know, while I'm here, I do have my Paxel with me. I want some sand. I need some more glass so I can finish renovating downstairs. The Paxel is a wonderful multi-tool. I wish Paxels were real in real life. Imagine just being able to have one tool that lets you do everything. Not that I ever do any work with tools, but still. I'm sure it'd be very handy for those who do. <laughs> All right, back to the home of destruction now. Very sad. Very sad. We have to find a way to fix that. Uh, I guess our crops have probably grown a bit. So... This stuff only grows when people are nearby on the server, so I don't know who's been hanging around my house. But thank you, because now my wheat's grown. How has the sheep found his way- oh, Wait, why have I got a red sheep? What's happened? How have I got a red sheep? Here, cows you can breed as well. Oh my goodness, my red one and the white one had a baby pink sheep. That's incredible, guys. There we go. Early the next morning. Right, I'm definitely going to have to go diamond hunting at some point, because I am now at a point where I do not have any more left. I have completely run out. I thought I had leads on me. I don't. Okay, that's awkward. There they are. <laughs> okay, so now with our lasso, I'm hoping we can go and save our hero villager if he hasn't walked off already. It is a different day. It has been a whole day since he was down there. Uh, he is still there, though. All right, good, 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 good. Come on. No. Yeah, come here, mate. There we go. We got him. Uh, now, we need, to, we need to put him in a place, really, because otherwise... That same thing is just going to happen. It's just going to run off. I also need a bunch more sand for the project that I'm thinking of. So we're going to wait for a new day. It's starting to get to nighttime now. And then we're going to uh, get started with this uh, tiny little makeover that I want to do. All right, here we go. First job is I need more sand. I need a oh, I can't get out my own door. I need a ton more sand. But I also want to fix these issues we're having here. So I did bring the stuff to do that now. It appears that no one's been near my uh, property since I came on yesterday. Because uh, nothing has grown. Then again, these have definitely grown again. Interesting. Don't know what's happening. All right, so let's fix this giant gaping hole. We'll just completely close it off for now. We'll, we'll sort that back out later when we need to go in there. All right, so now I'm just going to go and pick up a thousand beaches. And uh, we're going to be good to go. I got to say, I love this Paxel so much. I know I go on about it, but I think I might be in love with it. No joke. 
I think I am in love with this pack saw. It does everything you need it to do. Why have four different tools when you can have one that does it all? That's what I ask you. Yeah, it might be enough, actually. I didn't think the sand there would be so deep, but now it is. I think this might be a no, oh, my goodness me. Hello, fella. How have you get in the corner? The redstone torches count as light. They don't really seem to do anything. All right, so this is my plan. I think this looks kind of nice how I've done it over here, honestly. Uh, I do need to get rid of these bits, actually. Uh, but I like the fence. And I was going to do fence, glass, fence. Does that make sense? So that it looks like this all the way around. And then this bit here, we can cover up. And we're going to put doors on each end to hopefully stop so many things from just being able to take refuge under here. I think that would be very useful for us. And then down here, we can build a bunch of fun stuff. Mitch actually linked me to some... Uh, really fun build ideas and I want to do some of them and this would be a great place to do them. Are these sheep learning parkour or something? How, how are they getting out? Or are just more spawning around here? So I can just quickly go around all these corner bits placing all the fence. Seems like I'm going to need a lot more fence than what I have. Oh, that's how it's happening. The babies are escaping. Oh. Well, we just got an answer to our question right there. <laughs> Live answer. Thank you for that. Oh no, a sheep died. Okay. This is the finished look that I want. Like, I honestly think this looks nice. I like this. You can still see through everything. It leaves it nice and open, but nothing can get in. And that's very, very important. I'm going to need a bunch more oak logs, though. Okay, how is this one? This What's going on here? Are they finding some weird way out that I don't know about? Look at my rainbow sheep up the stairs. How cute. Maybe we should find a way to cut off the stairs from them. Ooh, a new wandering trader has spawned. Come on, have something good for me. Have something that I actually want. The Eternal Vigilance. Um, That is unbelievably strong, is it not? But we need 32 Phantom Membranes. I should really try and keep him, I think. That's, that's insane. That's insanely good. I don't even know what life mending is, but it's, it can't be bad. That much I'm sure of. It cannot be bad. Okay, in an effort to keep this man, I'm going to go somewhere. I don't even know if Lizzie has an anvil, but Joel might. Anvil. Oh, if this breaks, I'm going to feel so bad. OP villager. Okay, it didn't break. Good, 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 good. That's very good for us. Let me make a, a temporary home. Right, if I do it there, there, there. There you go, sir. Your new home. Right, I need to go downstairs and catch this guy. Excuse me, sir. Oh my goodness, you can't put him in one. He doesn't go in one. Okay, uh, well, let's name him anyway. Right, I've named him. Can we now keep him in? He is in. It's not ideal, but he is in. And it is safe. It's not exactly the way I wanted to keep it. I need to get some torches down. Last thing I want is him getting hurt. So he now shouldn't despawn because I name tagged him. This is ridiculous. I don't know where I'm going to get 32 phantom membranes from. We'll work that out as we go, won't we? <laughs> Stay there now. What a mess. What a stressful episode. So my plan, obviously, it's hard to show you with this side now, is to uh, have glass in the middle, glass in the middle, and then a door here. Just keeping it simple, but making sure that it's all like blocked off because the last thing I want is things getting in anymore. I don't want to risk anything getting in. I'm going to have a line of glass and then glass there and then a door here once I get around to making the door. But we're looking good. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to get this done. And I think we've made a, a very significant start on it. Hero Village is chilling upstairs now. He's loving his life. He feels much safer up there. He told me himself. Disclaimer, I do not actually sit and talk to the Minecraft Villagers. Except when there's no one else to talk to, then I do. Oh, this looks nice. I like how this looks. A sheep has gotten the cow pen. It's all going wild in this farm, honestly. All right. Done. I right, set this. I need one glass block for up here. But otherwise, it is done down here. I like it. I like how it looks. It's nice and open still. It still gives off like an airy vibe, but there's no way that anything can get in. Uh, obviously, they could break the doors down, but it's very rare it's nighttime long enough for them to do that. So all in all, I think a very successful little uh, mission there. So maybe for uh, this villager over here, I could do what Joel did and make it into like a little stall area here instead by getting multiple uh, villagers. I could have my hero villager down here. Just have them all in little stalls. Now, I'm not sure if I break the leads, if I'd be able to put him in a lasso. It'd be very useful if I could. But I'm not sure if that's how it works. 
So there's actually a couple of things I want to do in the next episode. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide, honestly. Um, I'm going to leave you with this. You guys can now pick by leaving it in the comments. Would you rather I did some of the, like, YouTube cute builds in my house? Or would you rather that I looked into Lizzie's flower breeding mod and uh, did some flower breeding stuff? Let me know what you want to see because I'm going to pick one uh, to do for the next episode. I'm just not sure which one yet. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hopefully you enjoyed this little renovation bit. I've been CPK. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of X-Life. One heart gang. Peace.